This afternoon, Muskegon County Commissioners agreed to sell its business park north to a developer interested in turning that vacant land to what could be one of the state's largest climate-controlled agricultural growing facilities. And it's no secret if it happens, those buildings would be filled with plants to supply the state marijuana industry. The land is more than 100 acres on the east side of Whitehall Road in Dalton Township. 13 on your side's John Mills has more on some of the unique challenges a developer will need to overcome to use that property to grow marijuana. The out-of-state company doesn't just want one, but all 20 of the lots at the Muskegon County Business Park North. Together, it's more than 100 acres of vacant land. The business park is unique. It's owned by the county, taxed by the city of Muskegon, and zoning, well, that's the responsibility of Dalton Township. It makes it very complicated. Muskegon City Manager Frank Peterson told Muskegon County Commissioners that's one reason the 20 lots and 110 acres have gone unsold. But now the county has a buyer, one that'd like to use the property to grow, process, test, package, and transport marijuana. That developer does not want to open any retail outlets here. I think what we're finding is, you know, it's going to take a pretty unique, well-capitalized um, industry to justify using this site. And whether that ends up being marijuana or not, I guess, you know, that's that's still to be determined. But that is still the only viable offer that's probably been on this site. and. You know, in decades. The company Agricultural Solutions offered the county $746,000 for the entire business park. The company's letter of intent states it would build an enterprise grade facility for agriculture businesses to grow. Other crops could be grown at the site, but the only plant mentioned in the company's letter of intent is marijuana. My church is two driveways down. Muskegon County resident Melinda Pego has big issues with the proposal, especially since developers are asking for no caps on the size and scale of the operation. They have required a contingency of no licensing limits for growing, processing, transporting, and testing. No limits. They get to do what they want. The land would need to be included in medical and recreational marijuana overlay districts authorized by Dalton Township, the city of Muskegon, or possibly both municipalities. Muskegon County Commissioners accepted the letter of intent by a 7-2 to two vote. It's really hard to turn down. Really hard. Commission Chair Susie Hughes says, like the idea or not, it's time for development of the vacant land. We've had several businesses interested in it and just walked away. At least we will get it back on the tax rolls. Right now it's not. And if the company develops on this property, it has agreed to relocate a new bike trail that cuts across the back of the property. In Muskegon County, John Mills, 13 on your side. One more button on the sale. Company has 90 days to move it closer to a closing with the county. And now a little more on the company, Agricultural Solutions. Founded in 2017 in Illinois, wants to offer more than 1 million square feet of leasable space for cultivation in Muskegon County. That facility will also be marketed to specialty food and beverage businesses and the floral industry. Its proposed facilities would again all be climate controlled. The company told commissioners the development would employ 250 workers in five years.